Hi, I'm Jenny Leung from the Reserve Bank of New Zealand, and I am the author of the analytical note, an overview of the distributional effects of monetary policy. There are winners and losers when official interest rates are cut, but international evidence is not clear that this means that the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Official interest rates around the world and in New Zealand were cut early last year to help counter the economic shock from the fallout of the COVID-19 pandemic. So what happened to the key measures of wealth and income as a result of central bank efforts to lower interest rates to support jobs and the economy? In the past year, returns um, to households deposits in the bank um, have halved to about 0.7% in New Zealand. And at the same time, house prices as well as share prices increased by over 20%. With lower interest rates, borrowers are generally better off and savers are generally worse off, but they may turn out to be the same people. For example, a family could earn less income from term deposits in the bank, but their wealth may have also increased due to rising house prices and share prices. The unemployment rate um, remained relatively low over the past year, given the economic shock we experienced here in New Zealand. Lower income households tend to be more affected by the unemployment rate than changes in hourly wages. With lower interest rates, a lower income household faces a lower risk of becoming unemployed. International studies show a mixed picture of how lower interest rates affect um, our shares of the economic pie. In some studies, the gap between the rich and the poor gets smaller, and in other studies, the reverse is true. Um, the gap between the rich and the poor gets larger. In the future, the Reserve Bank plans to look more closely at the effect of lower interest rates on inequality in New Zealand.